I'm fabulous. Um, we were, I, I just like to start with my resume. Um, you know, we're talking, we were talking about the kinds of things that uh, we can do. And um, we, uh, I was asked to write a book. So I did. I wrote a book. The reason that you're here is you're going to do stuff. You're going to do stuff. You're not just going to talk. I'm a really good talker, but then someone said, you should put together a book of social justice rabble rousers. And I wanted all the social justice causes. So I have Martin Luther King on civil rights, and I have Emma Eaton Pankhurst on, on voting rights for women, and I've got everybody in here. And I put Harvey Milk in here. Yes, yes. And the thing is, um, I have a really good friend who teaches uh, in middle school, and when I told her, okay, look at all I've got, I've got all the social justice causes, by the way, $35, Amazon.com, and all of the proceeds go 100% to United We Dream to help our dreamers. Um, so, I mean, she said, but Lily, you can't put Harvey Milk in there. I said, why? She said, Harvey Milk. If you put Harvey Milk in there, we wouldn't be able to put it in our school library. And I said, why? And she said, because he was gay. And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she said, well, I mean, if you have to, if you have to, you know, like, like, just kind of don't mention that part. And, and just, you know, like, be subtle, have people read between the lines. I went, that is so helpful, because I was wondering how to start the Harvey Milk chapter. I'm going to read a little bit to you. Um, and here's how I started it. Harvey Milk was gay. He was Jewish, he played football, he served in the Navy, he worked on Wall Street, he was a small businessman, he enjoyed the opera, he was a Republican when he lived in New York, he was a Democrat when he lived in California, and after being defeated twice, he was elected to public office as a city supervisor in San Francisco. Harvey Milk was a lot of things, but Harvey was definitely gay. <laughs> So let me tell you, um, we have not arrived, have we? Not when we have a teacher, a really good, compassionate teacher, feeling that uncomfortable. And maybe she's right, maybe they wouldn't put my book in a school library. You know, a lot of things happened on election night, didn't it? I got a phone call um, the very next day, and my son Jeremy called me from the gay capital, wedding capital of the world, Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> and he was in tears, and he called me and he said, Mom, how hard would it be to uh, move to Mexico? I want to go where Mike and I can still be married. And I said, "Hun, I haven't been mad at you for a long time. Not since you couldn't clean your room and it smelled all the time. We had kind of a don't ask, don't smell policy. <laughs> and I said, so I just want to get this straight, what I'm hearing you say. Harvey Milk fought and died for your rights, Mother Jones fought, Martin Luther King, Cesar Chavez, all of the social justice warriors out there fought and risked their lives and some of them died for your rights, but if it's gonna be taken away from you, if it's threatened, you won't stand up on your two feet and fight for yourself. And he went, I'm okay, mom, I'm gonna fight. It's good, I'm staying, <laughs> staying, staying. Settle, settle, settle. 
We ought to have that talk with ourselves, with our friends. We do not cut and run. We are social justice warriors, and we are going to resist, and we are going to fight. And there's a whole lot of kids out there who are counting on us to be fearless because they're still shaking in their shoes. They're scared. And there's a saying, una cabeza con miedo es una cabeza sin sueños. A head full of fear can't dream. We have to protect, defend our dreamers of every dream. And I am so proud. Que honor. What a proud moment to be standing in front of, um, of my, my next book. <laughs> the people in this room, you are the social justice rabble rousers who will not be afraid. And my heart is with you. Go fight. Win. Mil gracias, hermanos y hermanas.